Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Roulette. This is the fabulous Mr. Fox, and with me is Johnny Erty. Hello. We're going to do more Assault and Sanctuary, um, where I am going to go through this door and run around. This area is super dark for some reason. I suck at this game now because I have been playing Dark Souls and it's the a controls very are very different, different and now I'm garbage at Salt and Sanctuary so probably gonna die a lot and I might scream and throw the controller and I might uh, institute a plan to cleanse the world of all white people okay <laughs> I'm here for that we're really shitty you're the first one <laughs> okay whatever ah, ah, then no! I don't have to pay back no! my college loans no Ah. Get faster! Platform's gonna go! No, I just got in the wrong, in a rhythm of the wrong place. Oh, come on. Why wasn't that a dropping attack? Is that the right weapon? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. got a big dash on it. I don't know what that means. Dash? Yeah, up there in the Oh, corner. that means I can't wield it, um... Prop two, or one-handed? I... You can't wield it what? Shit. Shit. No, I'm gonna switch back. Yeah. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Oh, why don't I check this out? I don't know. Oh no. Because it's bullshit. Fuck that! <laughs> I think you're supposed to come at that from the other direction. Oh, Jesus. And then roll. Oh, come on. Oh no. I what? Hate God, fuck you! With that bullshit, come on! Yeah, bats I forgot. Are cheap. I forgot about how fucking annoying the programming on the bats are. And how to play completely. Ah, it happens. Oh. oh. That one got me by surprise. I'm surprised I didn't see him. So what sort of character are you playing in Dark Souls? Uh, I'm what? Uh, that's apparently not a... It's a dead end. That's weird. It may I be don't... a shortcut from the other side. I don't remember there being a dead end here. Um, playing a... I'm playing a cleric. Nice, nice. Forgot how fucking obnoxious those things are. Yeah, they're, they're horrible. I hate them. They've killed me many times. I think this... Kirk almost quit because of this zone. I don't find this zone that bad. I just, those I guys are kind of annoying. I absolutely hate it. They they can fucking knock you out of your jump, which can completely obliterate you. And, like, they're so hard to fucking hit because they jump around and shit. Ugh, I hate them. Not as much as I hate, um... I, it's not the bats I hate. I can't remember. There's an enemy type that just fucking infuriates me. It may just actually be those fucking flippy-ass archers. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a chest. What do you get? Crimson set. Uh, that's mage scum stuff. Mages are actually quite viable in this game. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, it's a trap. Okay. I guess this is the start of the woods, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. So the way I was going is the way I... Don't be a dickhead. <laughs> Platforming. This, this is a dead end. This is that dead end. Okay, I'm not far enough down. Okay. Um, yeah, I gotta go down further. To progress. And I don't feel like wasting health pots. Yeah, use the little ones. They're not good for anything else. Not much. Okay. Oh. Man. Oh, shit. Oh, there is a door there. Okay. I was like, oh my yeah, god, if this dead ends to, after a troll. I decided Ooh. not to tangle with that guy on account of... He's tough. <laughs> um, I'm just... I, I'm, I'm not good enough. Fair enough. Yet. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, this is the so This is who I want to see. Well, Matt's all porn. I am not like you, born of salt. I am born of life that flickers like flame. Is that your crack fox voice? Oh, wow, it is. She's yeah. the crack fox now. Oh, God. 
am summoned by the Song of Souls, spelled in candlelight, written by the drowning saltborn. <laughs> That's for the night times. For the night oh time, God. tinkle times. Oh my God. Your world is cold and stifling. Everything's different in the land of me. Oh my God. To be saltborn is to be a dying fragment of eternity. To be born of light is to be truly living, yet so ephemeral. Oh, crap, fuck. That's so disturbing. She's a reference to Dark Souls, I think. I believe so. Because she cleanses your sin, right? Cleanse. I'm not corrupted. Forgive, Forgive sin. Yes. All right, now I can rejoin my First proper covenant. covenants. I have no sin. Bye. Can I afford your stuff? No. You have far 195 salt. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, I but had... she wants gold. Oh, weird. It uh, says you it's... have 6,000 gold. Yeah. Well, I, I can't wear them. Oh, okay. Well, I can wear them, but I won't get the benefit. I can still fashion souls. Uh, what is this? 5,000. I don't have enough for the whole set. I hate to interrupt, but this cat is playing with the beaver you bought. Oh, cool. That cat is going to town on that big hairy beaver. Oh, my God. So, you know, I say that. Okay. The actual legit name of this uh, cat toy that I bought is Big Hairy Beaver. It's true. That's and what the price ticket said. That is what the price ticket said. So I wasn't going to get it, and then I saw that it was called Big Hairy Beaver, and then I had no choice but to get it. Because he's 12. <laughs> and, and so every time the cats play with it, I'm just quietly singing, uh, oh, shit. What? That button makes you let go. Ah, you're quietly singing what? Uh, Primus. Oh. <clears throat> there is a troll. Yep. Oh. I just didn't treat him like a boss fight. There you He'll go. Die much Got sooner, him. though. Ooh, bloated monstrosities here. You need those for devotion, right? And some Pesa mud. I got some Pesa mud. Okay. Yeah, I, I I don't know if I need them for devotion or not. Oh. Fuck off with that shit, you You're asshole. You're wrecked, jelly slime. Okay. That's a dead drop. That's a dead drop to that lady's zone. Yeah. So now I can go anywhere else in the world. Like, for instance, I can go back to where I was... And perhaps Which explore a different direction. Is going to be much easier. Because that's designed to go that way, not the other. Yep. Come back, elevator. And I'm just going to go ahead on back up here because that's a really hard boss fight and I kind of want to get some levels before I go deal with it. That makes sense. Oh, I was very scared you weren't going to be able to make that. I, <laughs> I was, was like, oh, that's I meant was, to go the other way. I was confident. Fair enough. I probably should have paid attention. There could be enemies spawning behind me there. Hell of return. I don't know what that does. Uh, returns you to the last uh, sanctuary. You oh my god, I didn't know that was an item. That would have came in so much handy when I was playing. Oh shit, oh I, just, I just tried to... Uh-oh, okay. <laughs> Thought you were stuck. <laughs> I thought I was stuck. I just tried to wall jump. Oh, you don't have that power yet. I don't have that power yet. Fuck off. Get wrecked. Ow, 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 what are you doing to me? That cat's back Dude, at your feet. chill out. I got a cat it's going fuck out on my... Uh-oh, I can't get up there yet. Nope, not yet. I got a cat going fuck house on my feet. She is... Bitey. She's so ornery. She is very ornery today. Uh-oh. Just realized something. What? One, that guy needs to die. Give me that salt. Oh, come oh, on. Punched. Oh, I got beat at my own game. Apparently, at some point, you got um, wounded. Yeah. I got hit at... F I got hit any time ever. That's true. So... Well, wounding doesn't always happen, just if you get hit, like... Only... Uh, hey, there's still... Aw. Uh, both those messages disappeared before I could touch them. Fine. I wanted to put my finger in them and pull out what? their paper. Okay. And then read it. That's what you could do with oh, the message. A really weird way to phrase that. I don't see why. 
Okay. I, just, I mean, how how else am I gonna get inside of the bottle with paper? As I put my finger uh, inside of the bottle, turn it upside down and tap it. Uh, maybe if I have no respect at all for messages. Oh my god. Oh no! That is why I hate those guys, <laughs> because they do shit like that, <laughs> and it is terrible. <laughs> and they're I, the worst. I suppose that was nobody's fault but my own. God, I gotta get a sanctuary in there. What the hell? I'm all the way back here. This is aggravating. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of anything cool that's going on right now. Nothing really. Relaxing. Not a whole lot. School's Thanks. finally out, so we can get back to doing more role-playing games. That's true. And thus, we can do more role-play roulettes. So that's going to be fun. Uh, wait, what's this? What? There's a goddamn sanctuary right here. Oh my god. Uh, you forgot you had to equip the thing. No. Oh, oh come on with this. What is it? Oh, uh, they. I forgot this game. Metal icon. No, you're in the grass, people. You need the stone acorn. Yeah, oh. I do. Forgot this game. What? You have to scroll it on your wheel. I wonder. I gotta. What? <sighs> I wonder. Will it let me? It will not let you just use it from... Are you sure? You, I mean, you do it... That's how you're supposed to do it, but you can't use it from your inventory. Okay, I can't I can't do it. Oh, you, you equipped a different idol. Okay. Yeah, I was seeing if I could just consecrate it to somebody else. No. No. I gotta make it lame, people. Poof. I mean, I do like their tree. It's pretty, but... Yeah, I guess. It's kind of bland compared to, like, the Iron Throne or the cool tapestries. I really like Devara's. It's just the statue of Devara. But it's yeah, pretty... Devara's statue is pretty cool. It's got some detail. It's, it's pretty good shape. Oh, dear. I didn't set a timer. Oh, oh well. shit. Uh, let's see. I gotta go get my souls back. Do I have anything that I could put here that would be cool? Cleric, soul sword, stone leader, leader. Oh, jeez, look at you. Yeah. Well, don't kill him. I can't. Okay, good. Have you spread the stick of the forest? But why? <laughs> why is that the voice? She looks for the... Welsh. Okay. <laughs> I don't. That's how Welsh people talk, right? <laughs> no. What? The whole country's gonna come after us now. <laughs> is it the entire country? Um, Terry Lewis from. What's his name? Terry. Is it Terry Lewis? No. It's not Terry Gilliam. It's the other Terry. Oh, God. I from can't... Monty Python. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh... Shit. Oh, fuck. He wrote The Labyrinth. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah. Uh, that's the guy who actually wrote The Labyrinth. Um, because he wanted a parable... About Terry Jones. Terry Jones. Terry Lewis. I'm thinking of Jerry Lewis. You are. That's very different. <laughs> um, kind of. <laughs> I mean, give me my souls. Bad move. Uh oh. Ha. <laughs> Good job. Oh man, where'd our box of tissues go? It was empty. Damn it! But my nose isn't. <laughs> Oh no! I forgot! Oh, they've got so much priority! Yeah, they got a command grab that'll wreck your shit up. Don't that forget to heal. You have the stone acorn on your bar. Oh yeah, I gotta get rid of that garbage. Also, it was what's get out. actively get out. equipped. So, tab over to your grass. Oh, uh, okay. You know, I they, they patched this game... I haven't played it since they patched it, so I don't know what changed. No. Oh. Yeah, shit, I wonder what they did. Um, hopefully they fixed that awful bug. Oh, where it fucks up your bar. I forgot about that. Oh, that's a boss. Yeah, it is. Which means that if I go I... over here... Might be a sanctuary. So I love Terry Jones. Me too. He is... Ah. Uh... You gotta beat the boss to get the key. Now there's a way to get over there. I don't remember how. There's a way to get over there without be fighting this guy. I'm just gonna go fight him. This guy's a weenus. Now watch me get my ass handed to me because I suck now. Oh. Wait. I saw an item. Oh. Ooh. 
wrecked. See, now I'm timing. Yeah. Timing your blows. <laughs> yes. That is literally what I'm doing. I wonder if I'm using the uh, good controller or not. I don't... I don't, I don't know. I can't even tell the difference anymore. <laughs> Nobody knows which is the good controller. They look the same. The false jester. Blag. Hello there, son. Oop. He giving you the business. <laughs> Eat this plant. What? Oh. Oh, jeez, I dodged right into it. Come on! What the fuck? Oh, he's on ya. Oh, don't have enough speed to do two. Nope. How did they hit you? I don't know! Okay, that was nobody's fault. Yeah. But my own. Oh! Can't say. Come on with that. Apparently when he pulls it out of the ground, it counts as a hit zone. He's so fast. Yeah. He only got one arm. Uh, yes. Okay. Just want to make sure I was seeing that right. It's been a while since I've seen these bosses. The only one I really remember is the Lady of Smiles. Oh. Because she's super cool looking and it took me a while to learn her moveset. And I remember the Deep because I fought him like 800 times. Shit, I am in trouble. You got mend. I do. But can I use it? I don't think you need a focus to use it. Nope. That's why you went cleric. Oh my god. I it's so good to cast a spell without having to have a focus. Ah! There. Got him, yeah. Read that out. I had to stop talking for a second. No, that's okay. Sometimes you just got to focus. All right. Jeez, Ooh. he dropped a lot of gold. Vanquished. And I get the salty stuff. The salt that you use. Oh, and it's a shrine. Yeah, see, there's a way to get in here first. I don't oh. remember which way I have to go to do that. Huh. Can I get there? Where are those cats? I suddenly became worried uh, that they're breaking everything. I have no here idea. Here we go. Ah, you teleport? Nope. Whoa. Uh, Double drop. No, the uh, the obelisk. Yeah, the uh, I said teleport. I meant anti-grav. I don't know why that happened. The, uh, the guy that lets me walk on ceilings. I'm going to talk to this fella. <clears throat> I, seriously, I don't know where they are. That worries me. Because they're being shitheads. They're over there somewhere. Oh my god. Well, as long as they're not making a mess. I think That's they're true. Just, That's true. I think they're just exploring, being little kittens. Hey! Oh my board. god, no. <coughs> Okay, I can't. You do deserved it. that cough. <coughs> I can't do Binky the Clown. Does anybody even remember Binky the Clown? I do. Who did that? Was that Rob Paulson? I have no I idea. I don't think so. I was too little to care about I think it was. Actors. I think it was the guy who did John's voice. <coughs> so, fun fact. Uh, that, um... Okay, let me get through this guy real quick. Okay. Greetings, friend. You come to chatter? From where I sit, you seem the matter. Fork, spoon, knife, a drowned man's wife. I am none of those things. Where I come from, in is out, down is up, and up is down. Plate, cup, bowl, and a broken widow's soul. Nah. <laughs> Would you like this rich perspective? Trust me, Lord. I think I'm doing Yoda now. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Trust me, Lord, it's quite authentic. Elbow, jaw, knee, and a grave beneath the sea. 
Yes. Fear not then. Extend your hand. There is great power in a brand. White, searing, hot, and iron forged thought. And it's and then a motorcycle goes by and they're super loud. I got the Vertigo brand. Got anything cool to say? Seek the seek and find the hollow stones. What comes next? I trust you'll know. Fate, faith, fade, and calm beneath the shade. Yep, okay, you're done. And the jester's motley. And now I can do this. Yay, wow. Womp. Oh. Yeah, you go. Wow. I'm going the other way. Womp. And you can go up and get that item. Wait, I didn't even know you could go up there. You didn't there. know you could do this? No. Well, now you do. Now I do. Ooh, the silver shield. And I can't get that yet. I need the double jump. Actually... I'll bet that's way better than what I'm using now. Uh, square for info? Um. It says square for info. Oh, I can't use it. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm good. So, uh, fun fact. Um, a big influence on my, uh, considerations of what comedy is yeah. was a comic book called Grew the Wanderer. Ah, uh, yes, I recall Gru. Um, so and here, that you um, have it and you like it. I'm back here. You should read it. You'd I, like it. I will someday when I'm not playing video games. So never. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love reading. I just, I would rather play video games. Now. Anyway, Gru the Wanderer. Yeah, it was, uh, it was primarily written by two artists. Um, the, uh, the, the lead artist... Sergio Aragones, um, and the lead writer, uh, Mark Evanier. Oops. And that was a, that was a project that they did for years. I mean, they started with more, um, that they did a 12 issue run with, who was it? Uh, Eclipse, I want to say like Eclipse comics or continuity, something like that. Uh, and then they moved on to... Oh, dear. Another troll. They moved on to what? If you kill me... And then they moved to Marvel, ah. where they did 120 issues. Uh, all through the 80s. So, I mean, you can see they did that for a long time. Yeah. And when they got out Don't of... Don't forget uh... to heal. You're real low. Oh, yeah. And when they got out of um, Marvel, they went to Image, and they did, I think, a 12-issue run, and then they started doing four-issue miniseries for Dark Horse. I think they did four or five of those. Hmm. So, they did Groove for a long time. Like, a very long time. Um... And so I read Gru for a very long time as a result. And um, the reason why I bring them up is other people have probably seen the work of Mark Avanier at some point in their life because he's a very prolific writer. What hit me? I think you activated a trap. Oh. Whoa! Okay, this is Torch Zone. God damn, I forgot how powerful their darkness mechanic is. It's yeah, when they don't want you to see. It's what Dark Souls, like... Okay. Wanted to do. Ah! Crap. What have you done? There we go. It. You're running over items? Tisk. Is that a chest? No. Oh, we're just a decoration. Background. Okay. I can't tell. My eyes are. Ooh. Stop Ooh. yawning. I'm tired. My eyes Stop are terrible. Stop it. You're not the boss of me. I am. No, you're not. Why not? Um, because I am an independent man who makes his own decision. <laughs> oh, I remember this part. Oh, this, shit. Those axe-throwing motherfuckers are the enemies I hate. Fuck. Because they frenzy. Yeah, I got hero hollowed. I 
hate that. I hate it so much. <sighs> I should have. I, I was being stupid. I was being stupid. I gotta go get that. <laughs> souls back? I gotta go get those souls back. Yeah, them's boss souls. That was a lot of souls. <laughs> you got shot. I did. How did that guy got not get hit? I, okay. I have no idea. They have so, weird hitboxes. Oh, there's a kitty. It's chasing an ant. Oh my god. Please eat those ants. Oh my god, look at her go. So, anyways, Mark Avanier, super awesome <laughs> writer. Um, if anybody growing up watched the Spectacular Spider-Man series, he was the head writer on that. Uh, he was the head writer for the Garfield and Friends cartoon. Oh, jeez. That poison was serious. Oh, damn. Maybe they changed the way poison worked. I think it might just be that. Different poisons do different amount of damage. Oh, is, I didn't know there yeah. were other poison types. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, they, they got poison all over the place. That's the bronze key. Okay, that gets me the satchel. I think you were talking about Mark Avanier and Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, sweet crystal sphere. Go away. I don't want you on my bar. You get your souls back. Yep, let's do this a bit more methodically. If we get quiet, apologies. It's just no, so we can focus. No, we need to not get quiet. I know, but this requires concentration. Well, this part requires is concentration is from me. Oh, that's true. I don't have anything Whoa! to talk about. Well, think of something. Make a joke. Tell me a story. Um. So. Cats, butts, uh... That, I like where this is going so far. Potatoes. Shit! You didn't get your souls back. Um... Oh, you have to kill the guy for him? Yep. And I got a lot of dudes coming up, so cat butts and potatoes. Yeah, oh, I'm just saying words I know. I'm like Ron Swanson in that episode of Parks and Rec where he gets a typewriter. Well, I'm gonna type every word I know. <laughs> Monday. Butthole. <laughs> it's like the most. Oh my god, it's fucking iconic. I love that so much. Um. Man, I don't really have any interesting stories. I'm a boring Just make person. Up. You 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 make up stories all the time. Uh, yeah, those aren't appropriate for let's plays. We'll make up a good one for a change. Uh, oh, they are good, and you can go right to hell. Oh. Uh, well, I guess uh so. I'm a fan of the show Bates Motel, and my friend um, is also a fan, and she convinced me to watch the new season because I was left a little jaded after the third and uh, the third season, in which they didn't follow up on basically anything that I liked from the second season, um, and I was just you know kind of butthurt about it, and I was like, eh, I care about these characters, but. What about, you know, this romance that was supposed to be happening? So she convinced me to watch it. She's like, come on, I'll talk to you about it. And I really admire her as a writer and a friend. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I'll get caught up. It'll only take me a day or two. So it took me two days. And I did not expect the level of things to like... So the series is pretty much like in the fourth season going pretty steady, you know? Things are happening, things are looking up, it's nice, it's calm, and I was like, okay, this is actually something I can get behind. And then shit went from 0 to 100 so fast, I got fucking whiplash. It was really fucking good. And so I finished the most recent episode last night at like 8 in the morning, and I was laying there in bed just like, but I want the rest of it. And it's really, really rare for me to feel that way about shows lately, because every series I like has let me down or been canceled. So, I don't know. It was, it was really good. Really good. Really fucking scary. It also uh, brought up a lot of stuff I didn't expect to. Like, um, whoever wrote... There's an episode where Norman is talking to his therapist at, you know, the institution he's staying in. And he's talking about a memory of being really young. 
and going, like, his mom being like, hey, your dad's been drinking, you should go to bed, be quiet, you know, it'll be fine if you're just, you know, quiet. And so, in the middle of the night, he wakes up because he's really thirsty, so he goes to get a glass of water, and his dad is passed out at the kitchen table. There's, like, broken bottles on the floor, like, maybe when he flumped down, he knocked them over and stuff. And they don't say it, but you can tell that Norman's, like, worried because he doesn't know if his father is alive because he's just laying there limp at the table. So he goes and, like, stares at him trying to see if he's breathing. And he wakes up, grabs him, and pulls him close and slurs out, Norman, you know I love you, right? And, uh, and I was like, that's my dad! <laughs> like, so the writers clearly, clearly know the material that they're writing, which is also super, super rare nowadays, especially on, like, I guess it's technically cable, but, like, most shows, they don't. They're like... You okay there? Oh, she looks like she tasted something gross. Did you eat an ant? Did it bite you? I think she might have got her tongue bit. Oh, <laughs> Poor thing. But I'm anyway, sorry, continue your story. The writers clearly know what it's like living with an alcoholic. And that was just it blew me away. Like I had to pause the episode and and talk about it to somebody because I was just like, "Oh my god." Like, "Oh my god." I can't even tell how much it affected me. Like I haven't been that, that affected since like the first episode of Jessica Jones. And it was just, it was really good. And it was just really good for me to see that, like, the show had come back from the slump that was season three. And has a lot of great moments. So that's what I've been doing the past two days. Also, I played a lot of Elder Scrolls, but you've already heard all about that. Have they? Oh. Uh, probably. We talked about it in Dark Souls. There. Hooray! Iron Thrones for everybody. Look at that Kuromoa. Nice. Yeah. Oops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Way to go. Are you a true mountain smith? Fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> look at look at like my fucking s salty swamp people face. Look at my look, oh, look, look at that. Look at that. Another player. Another player. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Ugh. You okay there? That, that a powerful sneeze. It hurt. Drowned Peasant's Ear. Blade Wraith Rib. Torturer's Ear. Primitive Bones' Rib. Huh. Flying Spider's Tusk. And a Lich, Lich Rib. Wow. I haven't seen those before. Oh, well, I didn't do this covenant. That's right. Okay. So this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Got uh, terrible things to farm. Yeah, I guess... Uh, Are I guess, you sure you're a mountain smith? <laughs> I guess I, I'm not a, the mountain smith I thought I was. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff to farm, I guess, because uh, I want to get my devotion up, and nobody wants to watch that, or they do, and, and if they do, I don't care. Go to Twitch uh, <laughs> for that. Zing! Zing! Uh, so uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Please, please leave us a like and a subscribe, and we'll, uh, we'll love you forever, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye!